So for five straight days, I wore this fragrance Monday through Friday throughout the work week. It's business over pleasure. Stay right there. Back to you another video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. Monday through Friday, I wore this fragrance right here, Business Over Pleasure. It's a collaboration between George Zaharoff and Ross Carlos from TLTG Reviews. It was dropped this summer, the beginning of the summer, well, maybe like two or three weeks ago, it was dropped. Price in between 100 and 150, somewhere around there. I'm not, I'm not too sure exactly what this price. Because for full disclosure, this was sent to me by those guys. So I want to thank you. All right. Again, this was a collaboration between the two. George is the financial backing behind this fragrance, and Ross's thoughts went into making his creations. Now, the nose behind it, the perfumer behind it, is Claude Deer. Claude Deer is known for making fragrances for George Zaharoff, as well as Beyonce and countless others, Banana Republic. Um, I think bond number nine, fragrance houses like that. So he's well renowned or well, well known in the fragrance community. All right, before we go into the notes, let's go, let's, let's dive into this presentation. So there's a signature box by Zor Zaharoff. Everybody know what those boxes look like, but you also have that signature plaque that he's always put on the front of his boxes. So this one is like a playing card. You have George Zaharoff at the top, flip it over, and you got Ross Carlos at the bottom there. Got it? Signature cap that Ross normally wear. You got TLTG right there, and you have that signature Z for Zahara. This is two ounce bottle, 60 mils. So open that box up like that, and the fragrance is right inside. Got it? Nice color scheme on the bottle. You got that sky blue, and you got that, like it's like a light blue juice that's inside of it as well. So take this box out. Sorry, I just dropped the box. But there's the TLTG at the bottom, and you got that Zaharoff at the top. And if you look closely, you can actually see the same design that's on that playing card on the front of the box. It's actually inside the bottle. That's that's classic, man. That's dope. That's really, really dope. All right, again, got that sky blue cap as well. And the cap, it snaps in place. Hear that? It snaps in place. So you can actually hold this from the cap if you wanted to and, and not worry about it falling. I'm holding my hand because I don't want it to fall. All right, atomizer, got this, that silver atomizer there. Brings out really, really nice, nice juice. Nice amount of juice there, all right. But at the top, we got Sichuan pepper, bergamot, coriander. That was at the top notes. In the midst, we have lemon verbena, lily of the valley, cashmere woods, Florentine iris, and ginger. And in the base, we got guyac wood, paoli santo, Tonka, musk, patchouli, and amber. So, when you first spray this thing on, the first thing you get is that blast of citrus. But it's a sweet citrus. It's, all, it's more or less like it has some type, like a candy lemon almost, or candy lime. Um, and to me, when I think of a bergamot, bergamot is like, a, to me, it's almost like the mirrors between a lime and a lemon all right so you got that bergamot that's giving that citrus but you also got that lemon verbena um you also get the pepper the shisron pepper or the spices with the coriander as well i got all that i got all that at the beginning then halfway through the halfway through the fragrance that floral note starts to kick in with the lily of the valley and the the irish the irish pretty much stays throughout the, the life of the fragrance it's pretty smooth the one thing I can say about this fragrance says, this fragrance is well blended, all right? It's well blended. The ingredients used in this fragrance is top tier. It's super smooth. Like the transitions between the stages of this fragrance is very, very smooth. It's not a loud fragrance. This is very comforting. It's, appro it's very approachable. Um, but it's sneakily have a good projection. So the projection lasts around four to five hours I was getting. Um, 
twice this week I worked in control and the control is a pretty pretty big area um, and every now and then someone will come in and says man it smells nice and clean and sweet and like it it stood out without really punching people in the face again you're getting that clean vibe but you're also getting the white florals and you're getting that sweetness that sweetness stays there throughout the life of the fragrance it stays it doesn't go too too far it stays and it's perfect now the sweetness can be coming from the amber the tonka even the guyac wood um that guy would add that sweetness to it. Every time I have I have a fragrance that or most of the fragrance that I have a guy wood in it as the base, it gives it that nice smooth, sweet, woody note. Is what I'm getting out of it. Now the Paoli, I'm sorry, I might be saying it wrong. Palo Santo. That's like an incense. It's like a sage almost. It's a a mood changer so it's supposed to get your mood right and with this fragrance right here you actually again it, it puts you at a at an ease you settled you calm again very approachable very smooth it's very office friendly but once it goes down to like that six, seven hours mark, it start getting closer to the skin. That's that pleasure type of feel. Now you're going into maybe a happy hour or something like that and the fragrance is still on your skin, but it's closer to your skin. So it's not radiating around your body. It's not giving a, 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 bill, a, a real big cloud. It's not giving you a real big fragrance cloud. Um, uh, cloud. Stuttering. But that cloud is close enough where you're sitting at the bar with a couple friends, they can smell you. Again, now at this point, at this stage in, in, in the day, which is later in the day, you're getting that sweetness, the woody notes. You're also getting the earthiness from the patchouli. That patchouli note is now starting to make it feel, it's, it's, it's a, this fragrance, if I, if I, if I might say, this fragrance remind me of two fragrances. It's like if you had two fragrances and I pulled these fragrances out. It's like if you had this fragrance here, Dior O, O, and you mixed it, not with Aqua Digio, which is that citrus heavy fragrance that we all love, everybody love, but you mixed it with this one instead. This is Oscar for men. You mix these two, because this one is a little bit more earthier than I'll say the Aqua Digio. This is a little bit more earthier has a little bit more of a mature vibe to it. So if you mix these two here, these two, this is what this fragrance reminds me of. I love this fragrance here and I love this one. This one is discontinued, so I try not to use too much of it. This one is old school. I'll use this one sparingly as well. So if you mix these two, you pretty much got Ross's Carlos on fragrance. Two fragrances that's staples in the community. So I now see his vision. So again, at the end of the day, you're getting that earthiness and you're still getting that sweetness that's still lingering. It's still lingering around. The iris stays. But again, you're getting that earthiness, that, that mature vibe. Now you're leaving the work, again, you're going to the you're going to a happy hour. This fragrance is not a loud fragrance. So if you're looking for something that's supposed to be boisterous and out there, loud, this is not the fragrance for you. This is for the calm, collected, I'm going to work, I want to stand out, but I don't want to be that loud dude in the office that's always running his mouth and standing out. I want to stand out, but I don't want to be too boisterous and loud. I mean, I'm hoping you understand what I'm, where I'm going with this. Overall, the blend is excellent. The composition is excellent. The vision 
It's ex coming from, I mean, just, just off the name. The bottle presentation, as in all George Zaharo fragrance, fragrances, the bottle presentation is amazing. All right, I love this color scheme. I'm a, I'm a Tar Heel fan. I used to work um, in the summer times for Kenny Smith, and I used to work for um, him down at North Carolina Chapel Hill um, for his basketball camp throughout the summer. And of course, that's sky blue, but this is a great color scheme, man. This is, this is dope. I wanted to give you my thoughts about the juice, all right? This presentation is everything as well. So the total package, man, for 100 and, what, 100, say mid, 125, 130 bucks, you're getting great presentation, you're getting a really good juice, affordable juice, and it's gonna last you about six to seven hours on your skin. But it's still, still gonna give you some type of notice, all right? Because again, no one stays at work all day. And at times you're gonna be in close counters with people. This is a great smell for being up close to people. This is very, very good. Very good, all right? This was my take on Zoe Saharoff and Ross Carlos's fragrance, all right? Business over pleasure. Here you go. Back to doing another video.